It's another day in paradise. Today's episode, one new real estate technology stock added to my $13,000 Robinhood portfolio, which is Zillow. So let's jump into it. Okay, currently the market's closed. It's Thursday. Um, as a lot of you guys are knowing, the mar the market's been going down, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the way my portfolio performs is whether it's bad news, good news, crashes, recessions, depressions. Uh, my portfolio is here to withstand all that all that negativity, just like how I move through life without negativity well negativity is going to come but it's just how you digest it and how you use that energy and you use it okay if you if you're going to take in some negative negativity use that negativity and boost off of it so so here's my portfolio i go straight to the all i'm not a day trader swing trader i'm a long-term investor so once i buy i buy and hold forever and i collect those dividends forever and then with those dividends that i collect from my companies etfs reits now i got cryptocurrencies i reinvest those and buy other companies and other cryptocurrencies my current strategy um my portfolio overall i'm up 8.45 percent so i mean my thing is whenever we go through any type of recessions depression crashes bear markets um I want my portfolio to withstand drop no more than no less than than seven so that's how i'm building it i want it to whether all that whether all that negativity all those downward trends and still stay afloat so and that's my my formula and that's my strategy for 2019 2020 i'll readjust it because i always readjust uh, my strategy every year so this is my strategy for 2019 i still i'm still staying with it because it's working so 2020 i'll readjust on the first of january and see how i need to go and what style of strategy that i'm i'm on this time so okay let's get into it i currently i have 173 assets under management and that includes stocks etfs reits index funds uh, monthly paying dividends everything ac across the spectrum international developed market emerging markets uh now i'm now i got a breakdown in my book where i'm breaking down countries and the the companies that they got where you can buy those companies invest in those companies off of robin hood so if you're not on robin hood don't miss don't miss this train or don't miss this boat or don't miss this airplane so jump on it okay so let's jump into it um i have 173 assets under management it's easy so don't sweat the technique when you think about it you're thinking to yourself oh my god oh my god oh my god i use diversification how am i start investing into the market and then once you get in there figure things out because no any every from my experience what i see even professional investors don't know what they're doing they're still yeah okay yeah they're making the money that they got to that point but even them getting there there's so many different ways to get there and it's up to you to figure that out and that's what i'm seeing now because i was like okay leo let me car let me copy warren buffett okay let me let me copy uh ray dalio or let me copy uh jack bogle or who's another investor i can't think uh yeah and that's that pretty much does it for that but then I was just driving myself crazy. I'm like, this is, this is, you're supposed to have fun with this. Explore. You know, this is like another world to explore. Cause now I'm seeing like, holy shit. Like, um, for, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are all monthly paying dividends. And I'm going to put more focus on those and they're going to go at the top of my, top of my list. So I'll watch those. So I'm probably going to have 50. By the end of the year, I'm gunning for 50. That's my goal. 50 uh, monthly paying dividends 
up here and then once I get them all that I can buy from the market then I'll start doubling up on them but I'll I'll look at like the price of them like because I've noticed a lot of say for this one this um, is $80 a share and it pays uh, 20 cents where there could be another monthly paying dividend less than that paying the same exact 20 cents per each share and that's what I've been noticing. So I'm like, huh, it doesn't make sense to keep doubling, doubling up on that. It makes more sense to double up on the the monthly paying dividends that are their, their value is lower, but they pay the same exact dividend monthly. So that's a strategy that once I get my fr uh, first 50, I'll start looking at the double up, but first the 50. So, and then let me see. And then today we'll talk about my newest edition, which is Zillow. So Zillow right here. These are all newly editions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So those nineteen are all new newly added assets uh, they're so fun like I, I love going over uh these companies and learning more about what these companies their functions it's just when you find out the game on the mon monopolies i took that concept and i upgraded it I, I took it and i spun another version of monopoly with, off of this so this is really you playing monopoly for real so and it really seeped over into Precious metals. I don't know if you remember on Mon in the game of Monopoly, the game, the board game, you have these pieces, these metal pieces, precious metals. So everything in that game is, if you really think about it, if you invest like real estate, invest in your railroads and water companies, which are the stocks. That's how I look at it now. Your rail, I think it was railroad, electricity, and water com utilities. That's all your stocks. So st invest in stocks. Invest in. Um, real estate damn i don't know why i have four fingers up and invest in physical precious metals and then learn how to use credit that's how i see the game of monopoly and i'm just trying to take this a step further where i'm going into international markets so outside of the box invest that way so from google is my highest paying um uh, just for one because everything in here is one shares there's a there's like three companies that i got two shares but that's when i first started investing but I, then i started thinking about do i want it just felt boring and i was and i felt i felt like i was leaving a lot on the table so i was like okay i don't want to leave nothing on the table let, let me get into it let me dig into it find out explore and that's where i'm at with this so that's why i'm not doubling up yet i'm still building the foundation before i build up the walls because once i build that foundation it's not coming down. This sucker is not coming down for the to the end of time. This is this is a 500, 500 year portfolio to withstand, and we're already in it. If you study every every company that's on in the New York Stock Exchange or that's available available ready to what's what was I gonna say? A readily available to purchase. Okay, let's get back into this. Okay, Google is my highest paying share. With I got it from highest to lowest. I'm gonna run these real quick. Yeah, that that's a this is a whole nother episode. I'll do a review when I hit uh, 200 assets. So it goes all the way down to a dot from a thousand, twelve hundred all the way to a dollar assets that I purchase, and I don't discriminate. And then cryptocurrencies. Also, I don't discriminate. I just added Litecoin. I, I, I told myself when it hit 50, the cop one. So it hit 50. I grabbed one coin of Litecoin. So I have one Litecoin. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. That's, I just have a fraction, 10%. Uh, Ethereum, 10%. I mean, $10. $10 worth. $10 worth with our fractions. Bitcoin, $10 worth, which is a fraction of Bitcoin. Just $10 worth of Bitcoin. Okay, Ethereum Classic. Now I'm up to 10. Before I was up, I just had one. So I have 10 Ethereum Classic coins. 
And then dodge coins, I have 2,343 dodge coin. So I added just three bucks. So these are just hold. And the reason why I like these is because, look, the market's closed. But if you see over here, this number keeps moving. Because cryptocurrencies is 24-7. And that's another thing too how i'm thinking about my portfolio as a whole not just okay hey dividends giving love to dividends i love hey don't get me wrong i love dividends but there's other companies out there that help your portfolio grow give it some fertilizer give it some tech tech come on techie techie get in there techie get in there cryptocurrencies get in there and help help build that portfolio come on so there you have it <laughs> Let's jump into it. Okay, Zillow, the newest edition. I'm going to shrink me down some. Okay, Zillow. I go straight to the five. So it IPO'd. On July 2015 so fairly new company uh, it peaked on June 8th 2018 at 62 dollars so currently you can buy a one share of Zillow at 30 bucks 48 percent of analysts rate Zillow as a hold 5,935 people own Zillow on Robinhood about about Zillow group incorporated engages in the provision of real estate and home related information marketplaces on mobile and the web the company operates through the following segments internet media and technology imt homes and mortgages segment the imt segment includes premier agent rentals and new construction marketplaces as well as dot loop display and other advertising and business software solutions the home segment includes zillow group buying and selling of homes directly the mortgages segment includes advertising sold to mortgage lenders and more and other mortgage professionals mortgage originations through mloa and the sale of mortgages on the secondary market as well as more tech mortgage software solutions the company was founded by richard and barton and lloyd d frank on july 25th 2014 and is headquartered in seattle washington uh oh besides microsoft i got me a seattle company current ceo richard n barton employees 4336 headquarters seattle where them seahawks be at founded 2014 market cap 6.26 billion pe ratio not listed dividend yield zero so this is pretty much a real estate tech company buy 40 percent hold 48 percent sell 12 percent so let me show you the website for zillow and i'm just i'm getting hip to this now myself so me wanting to get into real estate this is where i learned how to look for properties so if you're on here real quick uh this is the my current area and the way it's got a color coordinate let me zoom in okay if you trying to bring that over okay as you can see the coloring like if you see it like green that's the green is a house and purple is rentals how much it cost to rent so if you see it's color co color coded by their colors like if you see uh when it's green to red like when it's red those are homes for sale and then when you see purple those are the cost of rent so that's zillow's website let me jump in to wikipedia and see what she's saying Zillow Group Incorporated, or simply Zillow, is an American online real estate database company that was founded in 2006 and was created by Rich Barton and Lloyd F Frank. Former, oh, see more detailed information. Former Microsoft executives and founders of Microsoft spin off Expedia and Spencer Raskoff, a co founder of Hotwire.com. In 2018, 
Zillow signed a partnership with Century 21 Canada to begin <coughs> listing Canadian <coughs> properties on the site, <coughs> marking the first country outside the United States that Zillow.com supports. Barton is the current CEO of Zillow. So there you have it. That's Zillow for you. My newest edition. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, I should say the home page. And that concludes Zillow. So basically, I mean Zillow, if you don't know by now, it's it's the game changer in, in the real estate game. I know I, I was wanting to try to be a real estate agent, go that route, but you can really study the market by that. You know, start where you're at, type in your zip code, and then look at properties that way. So I'm taking it one day at a time with that. So the game on Monopoly, you need that real estate. So next, next Tuesday, let's see what see what we got lined up next Tuesday. I'm kind of excited and look at the all over here. Oh, next next Tuesday is New Well Brands. So, we'll go over that the next time we see each other. Until then, Put one foot in front of the other. Go get it. I'm